mindfulness is something that we now know helps us to be centered, to be have less stress, um, and to be able to focus more on the things that are important to us. A lot of times though, people have this misconception that mindfulness is that we're sitting in this yoga position in white clothing and we're going home, right? It isn't all about that. That's for some people that works, but for other people, other things work. Well, oddly enough, yesterday, on Ask Dr. Doreen with Dr. Doreen Grampiche here, she was talking about how important it is to daydream. And uh, I, we had already set uh, in motion for the topic today to talk about creative visualization, which is just another way of saying daydream. I gotta, I gotta be honest with you. Now there are books written about creative visualization. So if you want more to help you, and there are guided um, meditations that help you to picture something in your head. But the truth of the matter is, is that you can just sit and daydream. And uh, what you didn't get to see yesterday during the show was that Dr. Grampiche and I were talking during the break about how important daydreaming has been in our lives and that some of the things that have come to pass in our lives that are really remarkable are things that at one point were just daydreams. I mean, I have to say that I go to Disneyland on a regular basis and I always say to my son, you know, there was a time when this wasn't here, when this was just an idea in one man's head. And now, you know, I mean, nobody, there's nobody on the planet that it doesn't know what Mickey Mouse ears are, right? So daydreams and creative visualization can be really powerful. They can give you hope and they can help you to be centered, to be calm. Um, I love, my husband and I used to do a thing and we don't do it as much anymore and I don't know why. And we always say, that was so fun. I don't know why we don't do that. But we used to do this thing where we would sit on the floor when we were in the worst, most stressful moments of autism. Can I just tell you, we would sit on the floor, uh, Indian, you know, folded uh, cross legs uh, style and we would hold hands and uh, for just a minute, I'm not talking about 20 minutes, but a minute and close our eyes and picture how we wanted things to be. And, um, and then we would open our eyes and we would sit and talk about what we saw for that minute. And sometimes it was just the flicker of something. Um, but I, you know, I can remember very distinctly sitting and holding hands with my husband and afterwards opening my eyes and saying, you know, we have a dog in the future and you know I love my job and you love your job and our kid is going to high school and you know the truth of the matter is is we're there like that happened um, we have a dog my husband loves his job I love my job and my kid is in high school and you know were those things going to happen anyway I don't know but in that moment in time it felt like it was so far away so far away and even that being able to be in a place where we could have a dog just felt like it was so far away that it could never ever happen. And I remember how I felt in that moment of saying to my husband, we have a dog. And, and how happy and joyous we both felt and how there was something about it that was peaceful and joyous. So I beg of you to take a minute today if it's by yourself or with a significant other and just close your eyes and have a daydream of what's it look like in your daydream. And if, there, if things come up that are not what you want, push those to the side like clouds, just gently push them aside and look and see, no, what do I want it to be? And visualize that and see how you feel. It may help you to make it come to life. It may just be something that makes you hopeful in the moment. But you know what I say, hope is everything. And when we have hope, we can do anything. So take that moment afterwards, see how your breathing is. I think you'll find that it's like a mini vacation. You don't really have to get on the plane and go to the beach. You don't really have to ride the tram to go to Disneyland. You can just visualize it for just a minute and it's a great vacation. <laughs>